Ladies and gentlemen, we have arrived to the semifinals. On today's episode, we have two of the biggest NES All-Stars facing off for a shot at the title of champion. Join Steven, Jacob, and myself, Brandon, as we figure out which one moves forward. It's Super Mario Bros. 3 versus Contra on this episode of Video Game Fight Club. Super Mario Bros. 3 versus Contra. Oof! Mm-hmm. Ooh, dude, you know. Give me that. What's that? What's that? That that uh, the gif of that uh, that soccer coach. Ooh, <laughs> with them lips. Ah, dude, look, you just said it before we started recording this one. Man, if we're gonna talk about a top four mm-hmm. best NES games, I think this worked out. Good gosh, this this is gonna be so hard. Um, ooh, man, now that we've talked about some of the, the some of these games mm-hmm. two or three times already. It's going to be hard to, like, I don't want to draw it out or anything, but we have our handy-dandy guideline here. Yeah. Um, so we can use that to kind of help guide us a little bit. Mario 3 versus Contra. Yeah. This is this is, this is kind tricky. Of a, kind, of a, kind of a weird matchup is because you, you, you got a side scroll yeah. happy platformer jumping on Goomba heads, flying around, using items. And you got a Goomba. serious butt-puckering side scroll and Yeah, platformer. and then you've got, like, a... Yeah. Oh god, oh god, oh god! Xenomorph aliens, guns, yeah. spread shots. I mean, Jesus, I'm, I'm surprised there wasn't blood in this game. Yeah. Um, woo! What game has the better music? I love, I love Contra. Like I said, you can have a metal cover. I listen to a metal cover in the gym when I want to work out. Can't work out to Mario music, but dad gummit. The Mario variety. music. The variety, it's just, it's just too good. Yeah, the, those melodies, man, they are just, they're so catchy and they never get old. Mm-hmm. They just, no. even the, they, yep. they, they, they just, it doesn't get old. It's like a little earworm just gets in there. Just, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. Sorry, but, but <laughs> yawn came out of nowhere. I'm like getting ready to talk, getting ready to talk. And my brain's just like, how about yawn? <laughs> anyway, um, Mario three by. Oh, oh, it's yeah. not even close. Which game do you feel looks better visually? Hmm. I, 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 hate, I hate to go right down the list, but man, it's so hard to compare these. Hmm. Uh, I am going to say that... I'm going to say Contra. You think Contra looks better? I'm going to say Contra. You think so? Hmm. I mean, look, look at Mario. Look at this Mario. He's pulling up Mario 3 images on Google. Google. Hey, look, look at look at that. Ooh, it's pretty crisp. It's not a whole lot, but you know crispy. what though? There's not a whole lot going on in that background. It's just a, 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 a he's, he's not wrong. Horizon. Yeah. He's not wrong. It does look better on the Super Nintendo. Yeah. Uh, it does look better. And, but, and but, my but, brain like reverts to that because that's I, what I first played. I don't know, man. But also think about it like from a performance standpoint, Mario kind of like moves a little faster. He's 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 there. There. It's a little he's more buttery there. smooth as far as like the the frames of animation. That is true. Like I the, feel like there's a little bit more intelligent design when it comes to the levels in Mario than there is in Contra. Yeah, I, oh, absolutely. I think I think with Contra, like there's a level of detail with the sprite work that looks mm-hmm. better. Yes, the but, flipping the but, spin and looking down. But with the guns. with with Mario, I feel like there's more of a smooth frame rate of yeah. animation <laughs> that uh, that Contra just doesn't replicate. Yeah. Yep, agreed. Uh, especially in a game where you kind of need to be mad accurate about what you're doing. Oh, yeah. Whereas, it's the first bullet hell. Yeah, it, it's, it's, yeah, if it's not the first, it's one of the first. Yeah, um, granddaddy. Uh, I think, once again, I think Mario's got the brighter color palette, yeah. Yeah. Um, in which kind of exemplifies its world design and character design a little bit more. Yeah, I gotta go Mario on this one. Where uh, I feel like like Contra has, I don't want, it doesn't have muted colors or bland colors, it just has more... Uh, I don't think the colors are thought out as much. They are because yeah. like there's there's hidden spots on the aliens that you need to shoot, but that's yeah. been done in other games. Yeah. Um, I just feel like with the, the sprites are a little bit bigger and popped up and have a little bit more personality in, in Mario than it does in Contra. Mm-hmm. Does it, if yes. That, yeah, does yeah, that yeah, make no, sense? Mm-hmm. Uh, so visually, I think Mario would Mario be 3. better as well. Yeah. Story. I mean, <laughs> hey, there's aliens. Here's a gun. Go shoot them. Hey yeah, Bowser! A dragon. Bowser stole your girlfriend. Yeah. Here's a gun. Go shoot him. <laughs> I think they're pretty accurate in as far. As, I mean, they're pretty. They're pretty, pretty similar. Sim- sorry, yeah. Yeah, so similar. Similar. I agree. Uh, very, very yeah, about one more. Honestly, I think they both kind of like. There's no real driving story in between these two yeah. games. I think 
mechanic, the mecha- the gameplay mechanics is what's going to be the most. I mean, if I had to pick one, I'd probably say Mario because at least there's an objective. Uh, yeah. Contra is just yeah, I never knew. I didn't even know there were aliens until I got. But you don't need it in Contra, right? No. I, I a, here's know. a gun. Go shoot something. Yeah, 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 yeah. I did not know there were aliens either. I thought there were other <laughs> soldiers. Well, um, oh yeah. <laughs> did you ever get past the first level? <laughs> did you ever get that waterfall, man? <laughs> oh man. Um. Mechanics. Mechanics. Okay, this is probably the biggest. Both these games, for like the first time in this whole series, have multiplayer. Both of them have yeah. multiplayer. They do. Both of them have uh, cooperative and some. And, and I think, you know, with with Contra, it is strictly cooperative. Yeah. Whereas yeah. Mario, you can play like a jerk and you can be somewhat uh, competitive. competitive. Yeah. yeah. Or you can just be nice to each other and cooperate. I think. I think Mario has a little bit more variety, but also Contra, you play multiplayer simultaneously on the screen at the same time with a buddy shooting aliens back to back with spread guns. Yep, that's that's pretty nice. Did you have that you, little mini game where you go back and you can play the little the little old school? Oh, the Donkey Kong one. Yeah, yeah, yeah but I mean, it's there. Nobody wants to play. It's, it's there. It's, there. it's, it's in the there. program. But it's also that's strictly competitive. Mm-hmm. That's not cooperative at all. Yeah, but I'm saying it's just is an, there an, an added element. Is there? But uh, I mean, I didn't like that part. <laughs> I played a lot over there. It's probably the worst. Had crabs. I don't know. As a kid, I was like, "That's hey, crabs, Mario." You all like right, crabs? Cool. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I don't know. You like the little spinies, the little yeah. the blue, the blue crabs? Yeah. Little, that level on Smash sucks. I hate that level. You know, talk about the I bo- like the power block. The, the Mario there. Brothers level with the you pick up the shell, you throw it, poof, and they go flying. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I yeah, hate yeah. that level, yeah, man. Yeah, do suck. Um, I it think do be suck, though. <laughs> I think that Mario uh, it incentivizes you to explore the levels a little bit more. Look for those hidden blocks, find yeah. the power ups, collect them. Yeah, holding down crops to hide behind the blocks. And move there's them definitely up. there's the clouds def- in the sky using the tanuki. It, I'm a, I, I said this before. I'll say it again. It just has a sense of momentum that other games mm-hmm. just could not achieve. Mm-hmm. I feel like it. It feels so buttery smooth to play that game. Uh, also with Mario, a little bit more fair. It's a little bit more fair. Yeah, where, like, I agree with you. Oh, 100%. It yeah. gives you more time to react to stuff. Yeah. It gives you... It, it's it's not geared towards kids, necessarily. This is back when Nintendo just Nintendo games were difficult. Mm. Uh, but I feel like Contra has a little bit more of a BS element to it, where, it like, does. you kind of... We said it before when we were talking about Contra versus uh, Metroid. You, sometimes you don't know what's coming ahead until it's too late, and then you're like, oh, crap, I just lost a very valuable life. Mm. Whereas Mario gives you more chances for extra lives by collecting coins and getting extra points and performing well. And, I mean... I, it's not super difficult, but I mean, Mario, those later levels can get pretty tough. Oh, they do. Yeah. Especially the airships. Ice levels. Or how about just the whole last world? That that yeah. that world is designed to just tear you Which apart. Which one did I hate? Was it the cloud world or the plant world? Those worlds sucked. Plant I like world big sucked. world. Big world's awesome. Everybody yeah. like big world. Yeah, because big world's great. Gotta go big mode. Yeah. Big mode. Big mode and big world. Uh... But I think yeah, I, 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 I like a little bit more interact interactability with mm-hmm. the bad guys being able yeah. to jump on a Koopa, pick up the shell, mm-hmm. shoot it, kick it up, kick it sideways, use it as a weapon, jump in the little Karibo shoe and jump around. Oh yeah! Wait, the shoe, wait, the I saved it. I saved it until this very moment. <laughs> Talking about the Karibo I, shoe. I forgot about the shoe. Jumping in jump the shoe. The, you can jump on the piranha plant. Jump in the shoe. It protects you from the environment. You that got, was in 3 too. Mm-hmm. You got ice levels. I that, thought that was just in Mario Maker. You got no. you, you got ice levels that make it all slippery. Yeah. You got the awesome. slippery. You got water levels. I mean, whether or not you like the water levels or not, it, it does... It, it does diversify the gameplay and give you more variety, whereas yeah. with Contra, it's more just, hey, shoot stuff. Con- and- it, it did. Contra did change some of those little worlds where you had a first-person perspective going towards the, the, the screen. Oh, yeah, behind know, the back. The side-scrolling. Yeah. They did that, but, but it, I, I don't think it's enough shape. I think, those are, I think those are worse than the side scroll parts. They're not as fun, no. Yeah. But I, they change it up, is what I'm trying to say. But I don't mm-hmm. think they do enough where Mario 3 And does. also Mario 3, you've got the the ability to, to choose what level you want to do. you got the overworld. Wrestle. you got different activities going on. Like, hey, you might go do a little mini boss battle, get an extra item. I just feel like, uh, from a technical standpoint, I think Mario is just a better game. I agree. Yeah. yeah. I agree. All right. Which one is more revolutionary? Mario. Mario, 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 3. Mario, 3. Mario 3. Which one stands the test of time? Mario 3. They're, they're, not, they're not both. They're both bad. They're not bad. I, I would say Mario does. They're both out. bad. I was excuse me. They're, not, uh, they're yeah. not as bad. Uh, as yeah, I just think that there's been better Contra games. Yeah. And yeah. 
Mario 3 is pretty Mario, unique. Mario 3 is mm -hmm. pretty dang good platformer. Some yep. people might say the best. I don't. I didn't say that. I didn't say that. <laughs> but in, I don't know. Could some, be. People, some people might. Could be. I mean, Super Mario World's really, really good. That's a really good game. I don't want to talk about it either. Um, which one represents the con? I, 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 Mario 3 does represent it really well, but I think... The, the got, Contra, you could, you could, there's a case for Contra. Dude, Contra is just one of those like top five best sellers, I feel like. Yeah, I feel uh, like everyone for, knows what Contra is. For this console, right here. Yeah. And Mario. <laughs> Mario. I mean, is it... Mario! Do we need to sit here and deliberate? No, Mario. Can this just go ahead and Mario? Just say the it? winner is Mario Three. Mario, so, yeah, Mario, Mario, you, Mario. That's there's, hard. There's, there's three of them. There's three of them. Look, there's Mario, Mario, and Luigi, Mario. I said it before. I that's feel like Contra movie. peaked in the NES period on the on the NES and the SNES, and, and, and it's and it's it's proved itself because it's made it to the to the semifinals. Mm -hmm. But Dude, three that is last just Contra so game that came out was so bad, so oh, bad, so bad. But Contra Shattered Soldier on the PS2. I love that game. I'm I don't care. I forgot about. It. That's a good game. Count. Yeah, me and Brent rented that from Blockbuster so many, so many times. <laughs> uh, Winner, Mario 3. Mario 3. Super Mario Bros. 3 takes the victory and pushes forward for the final battle. But which other game will it face for the title of champion? Better hit that subscribe button to find out and while you're at it, leave us a like and tell us how you feel about these games in the comments down below. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.